Although I still love my 18650 batteries, I decided to create a 38120 power wall. I purchased 32 Headway 38120 batteries on eBay from seller Alarm Hookup. The stats on these batteries are 3.2 nominal voltage, 2.0 cutoff voltage, 200 amp maximum discharge current, and 8 amp hour per battery. What really sold me on these batteries is this. If you have ever created an 18650 battery bank, you know how tedious soldering the bus bar and each battery can be. These batteries can be screwed directly to a bus bar of your choosing. Let me repeat, screwed. See that hole? That's where the screw goes. After planning how I wanted these batteries to be arranged, I designed these custom templates. I included plans if you wanted to replicate this design. Seven pieces of these need to be made, and two pieces of these need to be made. I purchased two pieces of Everbuilt 2 inch by 8 inch by 36 inch flat bar aluminum from Home Depot. Copper bus bar in theory will work better, but in my situation, aluminum will work just fine. With the templates, I was able to drill perfectly aligned holes in the aluminum. After cutting, the aluminum was given a good sand on both sides. I then cleaned all the bus bar with soap and water and dried completely. Since some of the batteries were over 3.2 volts and some were under, I need to balance the batteries. The easiest way to do this, and to test the new bus bar, is by connecting all the positives together and all of the negatives together. The batteries will self-balance themselves. I gave this process 24 hours to complete. Your mileage may vary depending on number of batteries, bus bar, etc. After 24 hours, I retested the batteries and all read 3.2 volts. Perfect. Now that the batteries are ready, it's time to begin the final installation. With all of the bus bar installed, the battery bank is very strong. There is barely any moving or flexing, and with the bus bar cut the way it is, it's impossible to short. I added positive and negative cables to the bank and connected my 24 volt inverter to test. And look at that, the bank works. Here's the great part about this system. The bus bar only took 45 minutes to complete. The main battery assembly took 15 minutes. Which means unlike the 18650 bank, there is no more unsoldering if I have a bad battery. 
Simply get a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew. Comments? Suggestions? Please post them below.